Well, well, we thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volker. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor! Did you bring it? Yeah! I have not had to win all day. Warlock, I could do with a round. Sit, sit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let's begin. All right, then. Let us begin.
You just got lucky. Another round. Another time, perhaps. Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunner. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade. But it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. You do it. Anything else? That is all for now. Return any time. Hey, can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I'll see you soon. Must be finished now. But if you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. <laughs> 
Ben is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Iron! Wake up, or you'll be cast into the wild. Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Ivan, Ivan, calm down. You are asleep. No. I was flying through the air. In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when in your bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go! Silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now... Let us speak to your needs. I... 
I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Oh, I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Take it! Take it! What is... what has happened? This was not for you, Javi.
Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's whole slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I'll speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? 
I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. All your talk of diplomacy is cowardice, not strategy. If you do not have the will to finish this fight, only say it. I will finish it when we are certain to win, Eivor. And that day is fast approaching. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here!